Howdy boys, it's NPC and today we're going to be doing another episode of Dripper Drown. And in this episode, we're going to be customizing the Karen Everon because it's the podium vehicle, as you can see, that we just won. But of course, before we can do that, we have to go over the vote totals from last week's Dripper Drown episode, which was of the Lampadati Pigal, and in an overwhelming victory, 47 to 3, I think that might have been the hardest one yet, Drip absolutely crushes drown and we get to keep our pagal thank god because this is a beautiful looking car <laughs> the three of you who voted drown i hope you drown no i'm just kidding but for real this car is it looks insane thank you guys for letting me keep it anyway we're gonna drive this over to the garage where the everon is stored and then uh we will begin with our customization all right here we are with our everon oh my god this thing is so beefy i like the uh i think this is a gravedigger inspired livery right gravedigger is the monster truck i'm pretty sure i liked monster trucks as a kid but it's been like almost 20 years so i don't actually remember much about them anyway first step is our armor and brakes um, might as well do our engine as well for our front bumpers. We've got some chins here um, I'm not really sure I'm liking the chins too much. I think sleeker probably looks better like the the lights just look all They look so industrial truck itself looks pretty smooth and like not industrial just something like that You know, this is not bad, right? Do we have to have that chin on? We do. It's on every single one. Okay. Well, in that case, we need like some sort of higher bar than that. Yeah. So I kind of like it. the mid length ones right now. Oh, I think that's nice. Having the fog lights where the grill is. So now we've got like spider eyes, eyes everywhere. Explorer bar with winch and fogs. So that looks quite nice. Chrome bumper one and chrome bumper two. Interesting. They you have to be chrome. And this one is just does not look like it fits on the vehicle. So I think, I think we just do chrome bumper one. I like the, the tail lights. I think that could be a cool addition when the lights are on for the exhaust what's our default exhaust you can't really see it it's just that singular pipe shooting downwards we have the angled dual exhaust and we have dual exhaust and i feel like this depends on the style of build because this is kind of like, like oh i'm so quirky i shoot out at an angle but it's not bad it's definitely not bad like with the smoke coming out i think it looks really good if you look at the exhaust pipe itself i think it's a little funny but i want to try going for the angled dual exhaust so let's do that um, there are a lot of hood options here. Okay, there's a guard one. I like these ones. The vented hood just looks really nice, to be completely honest. These aren't bad, but I think it's got to be the vented hood. And I think in the primary color as well. For lights, we are going to zen on those because this seems to be a pretty modern truck. And then for the livery, let's see what we got here. All kinds of different stripes. Hard. That's hard as f <laughs> Children of the Mountain. That's kind of cool. Disruption. Oh, you know I like my red, black, and white builds, but I feel like this this seems more of like a tuner street build livery than it does a truck livery. Um, I am curious to see what Children of the Mountain can do. Make that, leave the plate white. But for the primary color, I do want to try the blue of the crew color, and that uh, looks okay. I think a blue two-tone would look really nice. But what blue is the question? Something mountainous, right? Diamond blue's pretty nice. I actually really like the diamond blue. Compared to the crew blue, like this is way too bright, right? You can see all the text though, which is nice. Maybe this is not the livery. It's kind of like a racing striped Everon. Mm. Man, the harsh souls is sick. I like this one a lot personally. I just feel like because this is the podium, it's like, it's too standard, but you know, let's play around with the builds before we come to that conclusion def like definitively. Oh, that's kind of sick. It's like swampy green, just green and black. Not bad. Lime green. Why can I not see the front? Bro, show me the front. Oh, the Everon would look mean in a midnight blue. I kind of like that. Let's try midnight blue and then we'll change we'll pick the livery around that double black stripes you can barely see that the blue and white's not it's a terrible combo disruption is not too bad either mm, double black stripes it may it's got to be the double white stripes if we're going blue right so okay let's play around with this a little bit see if we can get a a nice pearlescent going the ultra blue is kind of crazy of course on the everon mm, what other oh <laughs> midnight blue with spinach or purple I think we found our match. Oh my god, that is a crazy color. I might have already used this in one of my color combo vids. I like that a lot. That is beautiful. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's sick too. That's such a nice deep green. Midnight blue with racing green. Okay, well that's good to know. Sea green, that's really pretty. But I do think on the Everon, this looks crazy. Secondary color changes. What does the secondary color change? Literally nothing. Okay, roll cage. 
Or I guess this is these are just truck beds, not roll cages. Well, that's a roll cage. I like this a lot. I'm personally a big fan of of like the fog lights on top with this bar because I I grew up watching this Power Rangers movie and the Green Ranger had like a, a kind of off-road truck with fog lights on the top and I thought it was so cool. And I do think I like it with the boxes, it just gives the, the truck a little more personality, although it's a little out of place, I will say. Maybe no boxes, maybe no boxes. The containers are just like, why do they sit so high up? Yeah, okay. Anyway, we got some vortex generators. Um, we got some roof like linings, roof bars. Is this in the primary color? I can't tell, it is. Okay, so you have to have an antenna and then does the antenna clip? It doesn't clip. Oh, stock roof has an antenna. Okay, so we can't get rid of that. Then in that case, we might as well add the roof bars. That looks really nice. Oh, not sell. We've got chrome side steps. Um, I guess these ones are good. I don't like the, the fully flat one. I think that looks a little strange. Or the stock one, honestly, is just the best looking. So let's keep it like that. There is a spoiler. Oh, and it does add a traction bonus. That is really a shame because it's so ugly. I want the traction bonus. It's not that bad, right? No, no, it's kind of, it's kind of bad. It, we'll leave it off. We'll leave it off. Suspension, we can really drop the Everon down. I'm not going to drop it that low. Um, I will put it at maybe street suspension. I think one of the features of the Everon is that it's so tall, you know? And I don't want to... I don't want to nerf that. I don't want to make it like every other truck. So I'm so quirky and different. I drive an Everon. <laughs> anyway, um, the stock rims are pretty sick. These off-road rims are actually kind of sick as well, though. They're just so big. They're so big. Raiders are not too bad. I actually think all of these look really good. Cairngorms. I'm a sucker for the little revolver exhausts. I think they look so cool. This looks tight as f I think we're going with the retro steely. The bolts, the bolts look so good on this. Wheel color, I think we keep, oh, we could keep it black or we could go with white because then white would just match the rest of our, our truck. It looks really good in black, but I, I think that's kind of sick to have it matching like that. So I think we are going to go for that. That's pretty sick. I like that. I like that. Bulletproof tires. Tire smoke, we'll leave that. And then lastly is our window tint, which I do think we will. Dark smoke, I think that looks really nice. And that is going to complete our Karen Everon build. So let's take it out to see it in better lighting. Oh my God, it looks crazy. Oh God, maybe we do need that spoiler, but oh my God, this thing's kind of fast. A little fishtaily for a truck, to be honest. It's got that like, it turns, but like in place, you know, like it, it just shifts all of its weight, but then doesn't turn not bad though i this is actually my first time driving the everon so i'm i'm enjoying myself i would say but the car does look great like you can tell it's dark but it's not black it's definitely got some sort of tint in the sunlight in the shade probably a different story but then it's just black and white and that's also a pretty cool color combo um, I don't like that back window separating the livery right there into two pieces, but what are you going to do about that, you know? Anyway, we've seen the truck. We've seen it customized. We've seen it in better lighting. That is not where the jump is. Oh, I guess this is a good display of the in the shade. It kind of looks black here. But in the sun, it looks gorgeous of course you guys may have differing opinions so be sure to let me know in the comment section below you can vote for either drip or drowned in the pinned comment which either i or if it fails to get posted again one of you guys could make for me and of course if drip outweighs drown i will sell this in the next episode which would be a shame because i don't think you can buy the the karen everon and this is my only one so it's life is in your guys's hands big thanks to big bang zynga for posting a comment for me last week because mine did not show up unfortunately and uh, that came in clutch because it was good voting turnout. Like 5% of you. Let's get those numbers up. Let's get like, let's get 10%. Come on. At least 10% of you guys can vote. You know what? If 100% of you guys voted, that would be even better, right? That's totally an achievable number with any statistic. Anyways, be sure to let me know what you guys think of this down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this episode. Sub to the channel if you guys are new and you can uh, keep up with the Dripper Drowns, see what the result is next week. I think I'm going to be posting my Dripper Drowns on Wednesdays. I think that works with uh, the new schedule or Mondays. We'll see. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I will catch you boys in the next one. Peace!